stock exchange is open, and we're taking a look at the big board. Vlad, things don't look that bad. Things don't look that bad indeed, and that's because, you know, we have a very strong economy, and so the market has been weak over the last uh, couple of weeks, in fact, the last couple of months, um, and that's probably going to be like this for the foreseeable future, where we're going to see some gyrations uh, because of what we expect the Fed action to be tomorrow. We're going to be watching that, obviously. Um, so let's get straight to Melissa Armo. She's the owner of Stock Swoosh, and she joins us on the phone to talk us through this. So, Melissa, we've been talking a lot all week about the stock market. And one of the things that we've tried to at least impart on our viewers is that because the U.S. economy is doing so well and employment is down, inflation is low, there is a chance there is a, a chance that the, the, the economy could overheat, which is why we're expecting the Fed the Fed action tomorrow to try and tamp that down. But we will continue to see the market um, sort of move in these volatile quarters over the next uh, over the next foreseeable future. Well, good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, I, I'm actually bullish in the market long term, despite the sell off recently. I mean, everyone is acting like it's panic city USA. But if you if you look at the, the, the trend, the trend is still holding in the market. And I think we're a long way off from a recession, and it, it, it remains to be seen if the Fed is going to raise rates tomorrow. Now, let's say they do. I think the market is expecting them to do that. So if they don't, then the market could have a big rally. It's not to say that the Fed isn't going to continue to raise rates. They will, but the, I don't think they have to raise them quite as fast as they've been thinking that they need to. So then, you know, prior to this morning, we've been talking about this sell-off, the sell-off, the sell-off. Can we read anything into it? Well, there's been several reasons for the recent sell-off. One is the expectation the Fed is going to raise rates. Another one is the possibility of a government shutdown Friday. Mm -hmm. The market doesn't like that. Another thing is all of these political things that are happening with the Mueller investigation. And, of course, the, the tariff issue, the trade war that's been going on with China is going to continue at least until early 2019. And once that 90-day uh, deadline is up. We'll have to see if anything's going to get resolved because they had a summit back at the end of November, if you remember, and they halted the increase to the tariffs. So if something gets resolved within that 90 days, I think the market's going to be very happy about that. But if not, then the tariff war with China could go into, you know, into the summer even of 2019 or beyond. And I think that is the biggest thing overall that's weighing on the markets right now in the next you know three to six months everything else we'll know like we'll know if the fed's going to raise rates by tomorrow and i'm sure even if the government gets shut down friday they'll they'll figure out a way to get it back up and going again but there's just so many things that are coming to a head just in the last week yeah and i, I like your outlook uh, melissa I, you know um we when i worked at alliance bernstein we used to always say look for especially for investors out there who are not institutional players. Uh, these gyrations are, if you, you know, love the stock market, if you love the, a particular stock at a certain price and it, and it dips a little, uh, then this is, it represents a good buying opportunity. But generally, smaller investors should have a three to five year look outlook anyway. And so what we've seen in the last couple of weeks shouldn't affect the portfolio long term. And you said you're bullish. So I think people are going to Yeah, like I'm that. bullish. And, I, and I, you're going to remember the market just made new highs at the beginning of October. And that was only two months away. So when you put it into perspective, the rally that we had really since November 2016, we've had a, had a huge move. So people are up. So this is profit taking that you're seeing. It's not like it's selling where people are down unless they got in really, really late. But I will say this. The volatility that we've seen in 2018 is like a baby compared to what I think we're going to see in 2019 that could be like a like a lamb and a lion. I think mm. there's more volatility in 2019. So people need to be ready for that, whatever their time horizon is. They need to get with their financial advisor before January and have an outlook and a plan of action because, it, again, I'm bullish on the market, but it doesn't mean we're not going to have these wild swings. I think we have more of these wild swings because everything is coming to a head with, with the trade wars, and that could all be resolved in 2019. But until then, we could see a lot more swings. We gotta good have Melissa advice. back on. Yeah, good, good advice, plan, Melissa. Melissa. You need to come to the set and talk to us about this. We appreciate I know, it. I definitely will. Thank you so much, Melissa. Thanks. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.